Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. Shiva Akram. I welcome you in my healthcare guideline channels. Today we are going to discuss a very rare syndrome that is very important from the point of view of genetic counseling because in our Asian countries, the trend of genetic counseling is almost negligible, which results in appearance of some drastic syndromes that lead to the ultimate death of the fetus and trauma for the family. A few months back, a patient came to us. Incidentally, she had not been going to any doctor for any antenatal care. She didn't have any previous ultrasound scans. And all of a sudden, she developed a distress um, condition that was, you know, she started labor pains and leaking and all that. And she was very miserable. She, miserable. she has to be shifted for uh, immediate care in the, uh, you know, labor room. There we decided to go for lower segment C-section. And when I did the section, the baby we got was deprived of, deprived of all the limbs. There were no arms, there were no legs. And it was a case of tetraemelia. It means that the baby had just head, neck and trunk, no limbs. And thereafter, after the delivery, we thoroughly studied the case and we came to know that it was a case of Robert's syndrome. Robert's syndrome is basically an autosomal recessive disorder. The gene from both parent comes and then the uh, you know full expression of the syndrome come in the baby. And it was the result of cousin marriage because we took the history afterwards. Consanguinity was there. And when we uh, studied this case, we found that first of all, this Robert syndrome was, uh, you know, described by John Robert. He was a surgeon and physician and he described it in 1990. So in 1919, so um, the thing which I'm trying to highlight is that this syndrome is very rare because up till now only 150 cases has been reported. There might be more cases but the reported cases they are just 150 and that was one of them which we delivered in our um, operation theatre by section. And if we want to know a bit about this um, as we said, it is autosomal recessive and it's the result of cousin marriage. There is a defect of gene which is, uh, you know, which is we call as um, ESCO2. Uh, ESCO2 gene has mutation that results in Robert syndrome. Uh, the babies could have a normal intellect and they might not have normal intellect because it might be moderate or it might be swear. Swear is not compatible with life. While the moderate, in the moderate case, we can see that the uh, there is microcephaly, sparse hairs, and congenital cataract, broad nasal bridge, and you see uh, there is um, a defect in all the four limbs, especially the four arms and the legs. They are short, and in the very swear case, there. The hands and feet, they are directly attached to the trunk. And the faces are typical as I described. Intellect, as all I already told you, it might be normal in some cases and in, I mean, mild cases, but in spare cases, it's abnormal. I feel it's not normal at all. So um, we discussed uh, all these things with the family and we advised them to... Uh, go against the cousin marriage and we told them about the incidence of this thing that it is it is not possible in every child it will come its, it's incidence is one into four so uh, first uh, i advise them that in every next pregnancy they should go for the uh, you know anatomy scan and if there is anything like that phocomelia are you know uh, hypomelia, anything like that, they should definitely uh, approach and agree for the abortion. And when the baby 
on the next terms is normal then they go for the utility so genetic counseling is very important because still we are we can see in our setups some real rare symptoms as i told you about the proper symptoms And I am going to share you a few pics. Uh, one of the pics I have taken from the literature which I studied uh, about this syndrome. And the other two pics, uh, we took them in the theater. They are real pics of the uh, baby we delivered in the theater. So today I am going to uh, share these pics with you. And um, you can immediately diagnose the syndrome just by the patients.